Hey, it's Ashley from Yoga for That. Today's video is an introduction to prenatal yoga. So it will be a shorter sequence with a little bit more explanation. So as I offer more um, sequences for prenatal, you'll understand kind of the basic fundamentals of um, the movements. Basically, with the training I have for prenatal, if you want to check it out, uh, Teresa Campbell was the woman who trained me. She's absolutely amazing. She teaches public classes with Semperviva, so you can check on their schedule uh, for her. Very inclusive classes, um, super high energy. When I took her class, I think there was probably about 90 people in the room. So lots of energy um, and really being true to how you feel in that moment. So whether you're feeling energetic, you might offer a little bit more energy in your class. If you're feeling a little bit um, less energized, if you kind of just took a lot of energy to get into the class, um, you can definitely kind of chill out and same thing with the prenatal sequences that I offer and really all the classes I offer resting when you need to child's pose or shavasana drinking water as you need um, and of course with these videos it's great you can pause them um, pop out to the bathroom if that's something that you need as well so basically with prenatal um, being safe within the movements all the movements that are offered are safe for a pregnant body um, but obviously your body might tell you something feels better than something else feels so make sure that you're moving with and um, the feelings within your own body today um, that can change day to day for sure. Also within these movements, um, just lots of moving, kind of just getting into the body. We'll do lots of Sufi grinds. Um, there'll be a segment for dancing, so make sure that you check out the playlist that I offer and I'll show um, on the screen which song to choose and you basically just dance for a couple of minutes, uh, very similar to kundalini yoga, um, allowing yourself to find the rhythm of your body um, and just beginning to um, play within your own body and not being afraid to express yourself at all. So as usual, you're welcome to grab some water. Um, if you want a meditation pillow or a bolster, um, maybe some blocks just to give yourself a little bit uh, extra space. Um, and depending how you feel, you might feel a little bit unbalanced, especially if you're further along in your pregnancy. Um, so make sure that you have, we'll do some balancing work. So if you have a table or a wall or if you can grab a chair and have that handy uh, something to hold on to today. I'll see you on the mat. Starting seated on the floor today, option one is to sit cross-legged, option two is to sit the legs wide. So especially if you're um, with a bigger belly um, or you just feel like you need more space um, in the pelvic area, legs can come wide. If you need extra cushion, um, meditation pillows are amazing. Um, you can also message me if you are needing any props, I can get you a discount at Half Moon. Um, this one's really pretty. <laughs> I also have my bolster as well, so if you prefer bolster, you're welcome to use that too. Um, and then having our blocks handy here. So choosing whichever seated foundation you'd like. Uh, I'm going to start cross-legged today, but again, you can stay with those legs nice and wide. Sitting up tall, you might play a little bit with the flesh on the sit bones if that feels comfortable. And then from here, simply taking the chest over towards the right knee, forward and then over towards the left. And these might be really big circles. You might lean all the way back. Hands are just to below the kneecaps. Or you might take little circles. And if you're starting to feel slightly dizzy or uncomfortable, you can come to pause and just focus on the single point out in front of you. If you feel inclined, you're welcome to close your eyes and just allow yourself to fall into the rhythm of the movement. Focusing on your breath.
Making three more rounds in this direction. Completing your final round. And with no rush coming to meet back through center. As you make way back through center, eyes are welcome to open, hands come to prayer, take a big breath in. Exhale, side out. Hands come back to the knees. This time chest leans over towards the left, towards the right. And leaning it back. And you might notice this side you have more or less flexibility. Closing the eyes if that feels comfortable and of course listening to the cues of the body. So you might notice here if something's not feeling quite comfortable today, either having to pause or maybe creating smaller circles. Again, if you start to feel dizzy, allowing yourself to come to pause or gazing at a single point. Taking three more rounds. Allow yourself to fall into the rhythm of your breath, the rhythm of the movement. You can always go slower or faster as you need. We'll take one more round, coming to meet in our center position. As you come back to center, sitting up nice and tall, foot of the eyes open, hands to prayer, and take a big breath in. Exhale, side out. As you feel ready, making your way to a tabletop shape. Some hands coming nice and wide, spreading through your fingers, knees under hips, and if you prefer, you can even take the knees slightly, uh, slightly wider if that feels most, more comfortable in your body. Of course, toes can be tucked or untucked. And from this space, if you're in your third trimester, you're just not going to go as deep into that arcing foundation, so you might almost just stay in this flat back, but you're more than welcome to round as much as feels comfortable. So as you inhale, there's a slight lift of your tailbone and opening of the heart forward only as far as feels comfortable. And as you exhale, begin to round. Inhale to lift the tailbone, open the heart forward. Exhale to round. Three more like this with your own breath. Feel free to slow it down or speed it up. Last round. We'll come to meet in that rounded spine as you complete that final round. And from here, returning to your neutral spine again, toes tucked or untucked. Taking your hips over towards the right, towards your heels, and towards the left. So again, allow yourself here to find your rhythm. Fall into the rhythm of your own breath. These can be big or small circles, just like we did with our first Sufi grind. Take three more in this direction. Take one last final round here, and come to meet at pause at center. Take a big breath in, exhale, side out. As you're ready, hips over towards the left, towards the heels, and to the right. Again, you might begin to notice the side feels different, more or less available more or less sticky within the body. Thank 
Taking three more rounds. Take one last round. Coming to meet. Tabletop, big breath in. Exhale, side out. As you feel ready, we're going to come to meet in a seated position. So as you make your way to seated, you're welcome to sit on your heels. Of course, if that's uncomfortable, you're welcome to sit up on a block. So taking a nice tall spine, coming into a twist. So this is a twist that's safe for um, pregnant people. So we're not twisting and holding. We're going to breathe within the natural space of our body. So whatever that feels like to you, not trying to fully twist to one side and fully twist to the other, but coming in with our breath. So with this move, you're going to bring the fists together, thumbs point up. And from here, you're going to take your elbows nice and wide. You're going to inhale left and exhale right. So option one is to keep the gaze forward. Maybe even at your, um, to keep the gaze forward, head nice and still. And then option two is to take the head with you. But at any point you feel that you're feeling dizzy, you can come back to center, palms together, and just look at your middle fingers. So bringing your fists together, thumbs pointing up, elbows come wide. Inhale and exhale. Finding your own breath. You might even play with the head coming with the movement and then head gazing forward. Totally your choice of how you'd like to move within this twist. Get at any point coming back to center, pausing, refinding the breath and coming back into the twist. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. For 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Release the hands down to your thighs. Take a big breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. Coming into an active meditation. So in this space, you want to take the arms up nice and high. You're going to clasp your hands together, point your fingers, point up, and then cross your thumbs. We're going to be here for a couple of minutes. So this is an exercise that helps you overcome obstacles. You're welcome to close your eyes. If you prefer, you can sway side to side. So this is why the playlist is a really great, I'll also include this song, so if you don't use Spotify, you're more than welcome to download the songs from Apple Music, or you can purchase the songs or find similar songs. So you really just want to find your rhythm here, beginning to find your breath. And this is also a space where you can play with your breathing, so horse lips, which I'm terrible at making the sound, but if you're good at those kind of exasperated size with getting the lips into that sound. You can play with that sound as well. You can play with big heavy sighs. This is a place where you can feel free to play and explore sounds of release, which is a really great practice for um, when you're going through labor. And just allowing yourself to find those tools that feel natural to you. So if you practice within your yoga sequences, then you're welcome to then find that ease a little bit later on when you are giving birth. We're already about a minute in, so we have a minute more. This is also a great time to Begin to find the songs that work for you. So the songs that you can find, the rhythm that you can get lost in and having that playlist ready for you. The songs that you want to dance to, the songs that you sing along to, the songs that get you lost 
in the moment. You have about 30 seconds left here. You might find that stillness, you might close the eyes, find the breath. One more big breath in. As you exhale, release the arms parallel to the floor. Big breath in. Exhale to release. From here, making your way into your child's pose shape. Some knees can be wide. Of course, if you need that extra support, belly can rest between the thighs. You can also bring blocks to the earth. And just find a space where you can start to stretch out through your low back. One more big breath in, exhale, side out. As you're already walking yourself back up, if you had blocks, just making them um, out of your way. And then you're going to shift forward to your tabletop shape. And we're going to come up to stand nice and safe. So you're going to place the one foot forward, maybe hand to thigh, and other foot forward, and then come on up. And then from here, we're going to take our feet nice and wide and to front the toes out slightly, coming into our goddess squat shape. So with this pose, you don't have to get too, too deep into the posture, just making sure the knees are coming past the ankles. So if you find they are, just taking a wider stance, hands come to prayer. From here, we're going to take a big breath in. As you exhale, press the palms out to the side. Inhale to draw the energy in. This time, exhale, palms press up. Inhale to heart center. Exhale, palms out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, maybe get deeper. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, center, press up, center, press out, maybe get deeper, center, last four, center, three, center, two, Center, out, and hold. Palms face the earth. From here, you're going to create fists with your fingers and leave your thumbs pointing out. And we're simply going to turn our thumbs back and forward. Starting to feel that burning into your thighs. So we'll be here for about another 30 seconds or so. So find that fire and breathe into it. Let it be your fuel. Find length through the crown of the head. Find your breath. Maybe sink deeper into the knees if you need to. Straighten the legs. Five seconds. Three, two, and done. Nice. Come on up to stance. You're going to point your right toes forward. Turn your left toes in, coming into a warrior two stance. And if you need to here, please feel free to widen the stance. So as long as you feel stable in this foundation, the arms are going to come nice and wide. Find the depth of your front knee as much as feels comfortable, gazing over your front middle finger. From here, arms reach above the head. You might follow up the gaze if you have enough balance. And then release the hands back to the floor. We're here for four. And down. Three. 
and down, two, and down, last time, and hold, big breath in, exhale, side out, straightening the front legs, pointing your toes back forward, and then line up your heels at the back edge of the mat. Keep your knees nice and soft. You're going to bring your hands to your hips. Inhale to lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, you can soften your knees and begin to fold and hinge at your hips. So option one would be to place your hands on your thighs and working to this flat back foundation. Option two, you're welcome to bring your fingertips down towards the earth and hanging out in a wide-legged forward fold. Just being mindful here that as with the pregnant body, ligaments are more flexible. So coming to about 70 to 80% of your stretch. Especially if you feel you're going past where you might normally have been in your practice. Three more rounds of breath here. One more big breath in. Exhale, side out. From here, soften your knees. Place one hand to your thigh, second hand to your thigh, and begin to roll up. Nice. Coming back to the center of the mat, pointing your left toes forward this time. Right toes can turn slightly in and bending into your front knee. Gazing over the front fingers, of course, you're welcome to stay just like this. Or as you inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale to flow the arms down. Arms come up. And release. Arms up. And down. Last two. And down. Last time. And down. Beautiful. From here, you're going to straighten the front leg, point both toes pointing forward, and slowly heel to yourself or step back to center. And we'll play an awesome song right now for you guys to dance and sway and just move your own bodies.
Awesome dancing, guys. That's great. We're going to come into our standing work now. So if you have a chair or a table, whatever you need. So you're going to bring that chair or the table to your left hip to start. Bring your right ankle to your left thigh. And you're just going to start to sink down and back. So we're working to stretch through the outer hip and the glute. Five more rounds of breath here. Two more rounds of breath. When you're ready, you're going to straighten your standing leg and touch your right foot to the floor and just shake that out. I'm going to stay with our left hip facing towards the object or wall we're holding on to, keeping the left knee soft, and then just draw your right heel towards the glute coming into a quad stretch. So keeping that standing knee soft. So again, ligaments will be a little bit more flexible than normal, so avoiding any hyperextension of the arms or the legs. And gently releasing that foot to the earth. So from here, all we're gonna simply do is turn in a half circle Right hand comes to the object you're holding on to. Bring your left ankle to your right thigh and just begin to sink down into the stretch. You might notice one side feels a little bit tighter than the other, totally normal. Three more rounds of breath here. With your next inhale, simply come to stand, placing your left foot back to the earth, shake that out. And then you're gonna draw your left heel towards the glute, grabbing for the ankle or top of foot. Keeping a soft bend into the right knee. And gently release that back foot. Shake that out as you might need. And as you're ready, we're going to come back down to the floor. So you make your way down nice and safely. Feet are going to come wide. You'll just start by bringing your hands to your thighs and sinking your hips down and back. And from there, one hand to floor and gently stepping back to that tabletop shape. From here, and tucking your toes, walking yourself back, and then shifting over to one hip. Extend the legs out in front of you. Give yourself a little bit of a shake. So from here, sitting up nice and tall, and then just begin to hinge forward. And again, if you need those blocks, you're welcome to grab some blocks. It's always best to have them a little bit closer by if you can. And just allow yourself to reach forward. So again, going to about 70 to 80% of what you feel is your full stretch.
more big breath in and exhale. Then we make your way all the way to seated. How about we use the one block handy nearby on one side of you? And then from here, you're going to place your feet down, shift your bottom slightly forward, and then make your way down onto your back. So from this space, you're more than welcome to stay right on the earth. And if you'd like, you can grab that block and just shift it underneath your sacrum for a supported bridge pose. So coming into a very small inversion, but still getting the benefits of the inversion. Feeling supported by the earth, by your props, eyes open or eyes closed. We've got five more rounds of breath here. Last big breath in and exhale. As you feel ready, anchor through your feet, lift your hips just enough to slide the block out from underneath you, and we're turning it down to the earth. Take a cleansing breath in, cleansing breath out. Making your way into your final resting shape. So if you'd like to here, and if you have it, you're welcome to use pillows. If you have a bolster, you can use your bolster. This is going to be quite nice um, underneath the um, backs of the knees. So just maneuver the bolster. You might bring then the legs into your butterfly shape. Just be mindful that the hips are going to be more open than they might normally be um, when you're not pregnant. Uh, so just make sure that you're feeling supported in whatever shape you take. You can use any sorts of props or blocks underneath you to give yourself that support.
beginning to invite movement into your fingers and your toes. Beginning to invite awareness to the space around you. As it feels safe, placing right foot followed by left foot to the floor. And then you're going to simply move any props or blocks that are in your way out of your way and then gently roll to the left side of your body. I'm going to be in this fetal position. Take a cleansing breath in. Cleansing breath out. Make your way up to seated carefully and mindfully. You can sit cross-legged. You can sit on your bolster, your block, meditation pillow. You can sit on your heels. Taking a nice tall spine, big breath in, exhale, side out. Hands coming to heart center. May the light in me find the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for spending your time and practicing with me today. Until next time, namaste.